So there's this old course that I've been meaning to tell you about for a while. It's an old Udacity course. I mean, I took it, it must be six or seven years ago. Uh, I think it was probably one of the first Python courses on the Udacity platform, but I'd have to check that. It's called uh, Differential Equations in Action, and it's using Python to work with differential equations. And you know, I know that's an esoteric subject and it might not be for everyone, but I found it a very useful course to take, um, you know, and I think you might too. Now it says on the, on the introduction that it will take you a couple of months. It's an intermediate course. You might be able to do it a bit more quickly than that, but it's something that you might want to do in your spare time. And uh, I think you get something from, you know, and it's free, so, you know, why not? Uh, here's the course. This is the, the main landing page here, and this is what you cover. Um, analyzing the spread of diseases, uh, anti-lock break systems, the path of a forest fire, and advanced application of new uh, applications of numerical methods. I think you might just like it, especially if you use or you're planning to use Python for scientific programming. It might come in handy. Now, there's just one thing I want to clarify. Obviously, on this channel, I recommend a lot of content. I recommend a lot of books. I recommend a lot of courses. And I don't want you to think that you should do every course that I recommend and read every book that I recommend. If you do that, you're going to get stuck in some kind of tutorial hell, and I don't want that for you. Really, what I want you to use this channel for is to find the best learning materials for a particular subject that you're learning about or you want to learn more about, uh, because there's just so much stuff out there. And so maybe that can sort of help you guide, help to guide you through the best content for learning the subject that you want to learn. But I am in no way implying by recommending all of this content that you should just keep taking tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. In fact, I would recommend that you do the complete opposite of that. So find some tutorials that you like, work through them, and then move on to other things. Do not get stuck in tutorial hell uh, because that won't be much fun for anyone. Anyway, this is just a short one to tell you about this course because um, it's such a long time since I've taken it that I forgot all about it. And then I just remembered it the other day and I wanted to share it with you.